dispelling the myth that white toner printers gives you these papery prints. Look at how good this looks here. I'm gonna show you how to do this and a whole bunch of really cool stuff because you only get bad papery prints when you don't know what you're doing. Now roll that intro. T-shirt help desk. I did a video on white toner printers and it went crazy, right? And there were a lot of questions, a lot of inquiries, and some negative comments like this. White toner is garbage. I wasted my money because of videos like this. You guys get paid by the company to make videos like this? It does not feel like screen printing. Feels like paper. Guys, this machine, the iColor 560, is not a game, but you need to know what you're doing. Okay, guys, look, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some people may like that. Obviously, this guy doesn't. Maybe a few other people do too. But I'm going to show you how you can get an absolutely beautiful soft print with the white toner printer. Now, because before there was a little bit of confusion, let me show you again exactly how a white toner printer works. Okay, guys, you have the A sheet, right? That's where your print is going to come. Then you have a B sheet, right? That doesn't go into printer. That's just adhesive. When you take the A sheet that's going to be printed, you put it in, you can slide it in right in the front, or you can put it in the tray, just like a regular print. And once that's printed, you take the A sheet and the B sheet, and then you marry them together and you heat press it. Okay, guys, so that's the basic premise. There's an A sheet, which is the printout from the printer, and there's a B sheet, which is an adhesive, and you put them together. So let me show you exactly how it works with the zombie. And with this one, I'm actually gonna break it up into two different prints so we can get a bigger print, right? And uh, let me show you how that works. This software comes with a printer. You simply upload your artwork, split it, and it's done. You can print now. So here are the A sheets actually being printed. Those are the two that we just split, right? We're gonna take those. You can see you can put them together and make the whole thing. We're gonna get our heat press up to about 300 degrees. And this is our B sheet. That's the adhesive. We're gonna press those together. 120 seconds. Get that bad boy, peel it, right? Trim the edges on both and you have yourself a transfer, baby. Now let's get the t-shirt, right? Measure that bad boy up. Put it on, we're just gonna do one side at a time, but we're gonna measure it all out. And now it's time to press. 30 seconds, bam. All right, you wanna take it, right? Pull it off, let it cool first, then peel it, right? Peel it, cause this is a cool peel. And you have yourself a t-shirt. We're just gonna do the other side now. And um, we're gonna place that right there and get it all lined up. Do the same process, we're just gonna print it, right? Slam it down, 30 seconds, and we have ourselves, pull it off now, a beautiful print. We're just gonna do a finishing press on it, and that, my friends, is done. Now that's the process, but this right here printout is probably what that guy was talking about, but I'm gonna show you how you can get this to be butter soft. All right, guys, so we're gonna print this again, but we're just gonna make one change, right? We're gonna remove the black and that is going to make it look a lot better and feel a lot better let me show you once you go into your pro rip software you want to upload that artwork right click on it and go down to production plugins go down to knock me black out and you're going to go and knock that black out and there's sliders here so you may want a little bit less black a little bit more and once you get it to look exactly how you want to look right just want to click and that black is gone. So guys, here is the finished product. Look at how much brighter and vibrant it is. It is far softer also because that ground, the actual fabric is coming through on so much of the print. Now, if you go over here, you can see the difference. You see how shiny and paper and plasticky it looks and feels. I mean, it is a, they even feel different. It's night and day, right? So that's the difference. Let me show you something else. Okay guys, something else that you can do to really make your white toner prints look really good is rasterization. To put that simply, add holes. So wait, you telling people to put holes in their t-shirt prints? Guys, don't freak out. It's not that big of a deal. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Rasterization, adding holes, simple. 
this is another thing you click in your artwork you go to uh, color layer then you go to ink removal right and you can go right here in there's sliders for everything the holes the amount of holes the variation of the holes the angle of the holes how many holes you want bigger or smaller everything right you set all that up exactly how you want it and then you print it out okay i'm going to show you this one and a whole bunch of other ones i did and here's the print out and that's what it looks like um i think that looks amazing guys and um you barely can see the holes and i think it adds to the character of the graphic so don't let holes fool you all right let me show you a couple of more this is the panther right Look how cool that is. And this is, think, it's not illegal yet. And here's another skull zombie, right? And uh, yeah, man, the holes, and all of these have holes in it. And uh, I really don't think that it's that big of a deal, but hey, you know, it's up to you. Guys, I don't know what's going on with me, but I like zombies. I like panthers too. Okay, guys, if you are really into like t-shirt designs, Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity, all that good stuff, there's going to be a card. I want you to go check out my other channel, T-Shirt Design School. That's where I get into all the design stuff, all right? I get into specific things on how you can make really great, awesome t-shirt designs. So go over there, check it out. If you like it, subscribe, right? Let's get back into this video. So guys, just doing a few things like removing color, knocking out the black, adding some holes can give you a t-shirt print that is soft as Forget about it! So guys, that's how you can get a really, really great print out of a white toner printer, all right? I do realize that these things are not for everybody. However, don't let the haters discourage you. Find out if this is something that you want. For yourself it's going to be a bunch of information down in the description box check it out but listen fool around with y'all long enough i'm gonna put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the dope god bless and here's some more videos to help you on your t-shirt journey peace t-shirt help desk